I was trying to wait till our kitchen renovations were done before I started any catching cooks, but uh, being that we've been in permitting for over eight months now, um, some guys have been asking what's my favorite meals with some a lot of the fish I catch. So here it goes. Uh, we're gonna do some of the uku today that were caught this past weekend. So let's go hit it. So when I store the fish after I after I break it down, I like to keep it. Um, nicely wrapped with a paper towel and saran wrap so that you can keep all the moisture and air away from the fish. I find that it really helps in preserving the fish and uh, especially if you want to age it a little bit, it'll keep its texture a lot nicer. This is first slab, tail slab, So when I broke the fish down, I basically just filleted it and um, just took the skin off. But I left the um, I left the pin bones in here, so we'll take out the pin bones now. But um, so one of the best things to do, especially with fresh fish, is to um, eat it raw, obviously sashimi style. So we'll go ahead and we'll prep this sashimi style, or what I what I like to do sashimi style first um, is especially with uh, this kind of meat, white meat. Uh, I like to salt it to get all the extra all the extra moisture out of it. So we're gonna just salt it just as is, put it on a paper towel on a nice cold pan, and then we're gonna just cover it with a paper towel so that it can sit in the fridge and um, kind of beat out all of that moisture. So when you salt it, what you wanna use is like a, um, a nice sea salt, I like this these Japanese sea salts, but uh, let's give it a little sprinkle on it. Don't need much, just a nice little tiny coat. What it's gonna do is it's gonna suck all the moisture out of there and then you can just kind of pat it dry and kind of brush off the salt with that paper towel that's on top of it later. But really what we wanna do is get all the excess moisture off of it. I do like to do the top and bottom. So really it's not a whole lot of salt. It's a tiny little coat. As I said, you don't need too much. So as I said, just place it right on that sheet, cookie sheet works cover it loosely and we'll stick this in the fridge just like that this fish has been sitting in the fridge for about 30 minutes or so so it's already drawn out some of the moisture from it and um, so we can just take off the paper towels here and dab it dry get off some of that extra salt and we can get to cutting Unbeknownst to me, my camera actually died as I was cutting the sashimi. But just go ahead and make sure you trim out the pin bones and trim off the bloodline. Um, helps for presentation. If you're watching this channel, I'm pretty sure you know how to cut sashimi. So we won't go through the cutting process of this, but here's the end result. For our second dish, we usually like to eat some ceviche. So here's some cilantro, limes, red and white onions, orange, and some peppers. Normally I like serrano peppers, but they only add jalapenos and Thai peppers. Pause for a quick shout out to Kelly at Tadaima Hawaii for making this awesome cutting board and Chris and Crystal for getting such a thoughtful gift. All right, let's get to some ceviche. So this is probably about, I don't know, half a pound or so. Let me wipe this down real quick. Cutting and juicing up th about three limes here, uh, rolling them a little bit before cutting them kind of helps get the juice out sometimes, but not really necessary.
shouldn't be any pin bones in the tail side, but we'll cut it just to make sure. Yep, no pin bones, little must fiber. I see that red bloodline right there, so we'll get that bloodline off. I don't really like that part of my ceviche, so that should do. sure there's no bones in ceviche you don't really don't want to be eating bones in your um feel one in there well, half inch to one inch cubes are good this quick rinse. For this amount of fish, I think uh, about a quarter of a white onion will do. <clears throat> it's all going in there anyway so the order doesn't really matter but just chuck in the fish into the bowl and add in those onions go ahead and dice up um, equal parts of red onion as well Now on to some peppers. Normally I like to add serrano peppers to this, but the store only had some jalapenos and Thai peppers. Uh, with serrano peppers, I, I usually just use one, uh, depending on the size, but I usually use one pepper and scrape out most of the seeds and then dice it up. But we'll just go ahead and scrape out the seeds of this jalapeno and um, add the seeds of one Thai pepper in this.
Let's make it two Thai peppers. So we're adding in the juice of the three limes here. as well as the juice from about a half an orange. The orange just adds a little bit of sweetness to counteract and balance with the spice. So let's just go grab a spoon and um, mix it all up. Incorporate everything together. Make sure it's all nice and melted. We're going to go ahead and add a little bit of salt in here at this point, a couple pinches, a few pinches, maybe a one, two, three teaspoons should do. So the juice is not quite covering the fish here, so we're going to go ahead and add a little bit of lemon juice just to make sure it's, um, it's covered just about to the top of the fish level. And now we're going to go ahead and cover it with saran wrap. Um, what's this, we're going to press it down along the sides. And what, what it's going to do is help um, get the moisture or the liquid the acid to cover all the fish including the tops of the fish so from here you want to just stick this in the fridge and let it marinate for uh, around like four hours or so after like four hours you may want to drain out some of that liquid or else it starts to get a little too tangy So while the um, ceviche is marinating we're just going to pre-cut some up some of the cilantro up uh, Chinese parsley to um, have it ready to just throw on in there once the marinade is done Of course, don't forget the little pro tip, use up the rinds of the limes and oranges to throw in your garbage disposal. Smells good. Okay, so the ceviche has been marinating for a little over four hours now. So take off the saran wrap and uh, dump out a little bit, or give it a good mix. Then we're going to dump out a little bit of that um, excess lime and lemon juice. Add in the cilantro. I know some people think it tastes funny or like soap or whatever, but I like it. My wife likes it, so.
I guess it's not really a review unless you actually eat it, but um, better taste test it for you serve your family, so. Cheers. Mm. That's good. Those chai, thai chilies are spicy. So I didn't have time to film this one because, well, life got in the way. But um, two of my son's favorite meals are one is chazuke and just fried fish with salt and pepper. And the other ones are what he calls fish sticks. Uh, but his fish sticks are like uku katsu or ahi katsu. So very quickly for the katsu, what we do is just uh, lightly flour it, salt and pepper, egg wash, and then panko. After that, we just fry it up until it's golden brown and serve, usually with some kind of tsukimono as well. Usually by this point, my wife's pretty tired of fish too, so she makes a charcuterie platter as well. My wife's cousin Isaac makes this aloha smoke shoyu, as well as a chili pepper version as well. So stay tuned because there's going to be some giveaways for commenters in this and the next couple videos. Peace. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and ring that bell.